how NATO promoted crisis in Libya. Of, uh, a few of us, I think we were six. I was one of them. The whole of the African Union gave that committee the mandate to look for a solution for the Libyan problem. Now, on one occasion, I didn't go that time. These excellencies, this one here, Jacob Zuma, and the others, I, I was not there, but my, my minister was among them. They entered a play in workshop in his place. They were going to Libya to mediate. And they were told by NATO to go back. Yes. He said, you go back. Yes, he's here. If I'm telling you lies. I'm not the one who invited him. You're the one who invited him. <laughs> African presidents on an African mission over African soil were ordered by NATO to go back. That NATO has not allowed them to land in Libya. Now, we call this in Swahili, Tharao, contempt. This is contempt. So now you can, you can weigh yourselves now. Your presidents were ordered by NATO. Six of them, not one. If it was only seven, maybe you could say. <laughs> Six excellencies, African excellencies, were ordered, go back. Over Africa. Now, these fellows didn't listen to us. They continued. They killed uh, Gaddafi. Now Libya is in tatters, up to today. And the problem did not only end in Libya. It went into Mali. It has gone now into uh, Chad. The whole area is in, is, is, is in flames. E Egypt, yes. So now you see where, where you are. You were weak. Because of, of your weakness, you, you, are, you, you are colonized. Fortunately, we survived. And by a combination of factors, we got our freedom again. But we did not use our freedom to make ourselves stronger. We remained where we were. And now, the former colonies are coming back to continue where they had left off. 